I think that was a concern of a lot of employees in the beginning, especially when childcare centers and schools started closing, everyone was like, how am I going to balance all of this? And so we've made sure employees know that and supervisors take a very flexible approach with employees. So if employees need to be off for a chunk of the day and, and have those hours later in the evening, then to accommodate to the best of the team's ability to do that, to allow that flexibility. And then when the Family First Coronavirus Response Act came out with the guidelines for the dependent care leave and paid FMLA, we took that and enhanced it a little bit. So we looked at, okay, well, what, what is a part of this act and how can we make sure our employees are supported to that next level or two up? Um, so we did implement two weeks of dependent leave as well. So employees were able to have leave separate from their vacation or sick leave so they didn't exhaust that if they needed to spend time with their family members if they were um, experiencing coronavirus symptoms or um, any sort of medical related issues or their school or childcare was closed. There was that bucket of leave that employees were able to use in addition to then the FMLA um, that then was paid as well. Um, and then as far as uh, if they've exhausted all of that, you know, again, flexibility is first. And then um, we've also encouraged and have different arrangements. So if employees need to go part-time status or adjust their hours, so maybe, you know, their, their week looks a little bit different than other coworkers, we've worked with employees on that to make sure they're able to do that because we know, you know, it's a, it's a, difficult time for everyone and we're all in it together and so you know if we can be flexible and support employees we'd much rather do that than them leave the company